So suppose we're converting a car from electric to gas, uh, sorry, from gas to electric, and we have a set of tasks and task times, or task weights, uh, for those, yeah, so times to complete these various tasks. Now, it also makes sense that some of these tasks have to be completed before others. So, for example, we need to remove the engine before we can steam clean the inside of the car. And so, for this, we're going to create what's called a digraph, where we use arrows to represent the ordering requirements, uh, of the graph. So, I'm going to make a little more room here. And so, let's say we start with task 1. So, I'm going to create a vertex, or a dot, for task 1. And I'm going to say, there's task 1, which I'm going to represent with task, uh, t for task with a subscript of 1. And after it, I'm going to put the time it takes to complete that task. So, task 1 takes 2 days, or has a time of 2. And I need to complete task 1 before I can get to steam cleaning the engine. And so, I'm going to create an arrow that points to task 2, which has a time of 0.5. And this is going to tell me that task 1 has to be completed before task 2. And now, let's see what else we need to do. We need to buy an uh, electric motor. Well, we don't have to do that. Neither of these have to be completed before that, so we'll put list task 3 here separately. Uh, let's see here, task 4, construct the part that connects the motor to the engine's transmission. Presuming we know what kind of motor we're buying and we have the specs, we really don't need to do that. Uh, we don't need to do any of these other things before that. Uh, we need to construct the battery racks again. Uh, we can probably do that just about any time we want. And now we want to, let's say, install the motor. Well, what do we need to do before we install the motor? Well, I definitely need to, uh, want to have that steam cleaning done, right? There's no point in installing a motor, uh, in a dirty engine. Um, I'm also going to need to have bought the engine, so we have a second requirement coming from t task 3. Uh, we're going to need to have, uh, done that. And in order to install the motor, we're also going to have to have constructed the part that connects the motor in. So we're going to have to have that requirement, uh, as well. So task 7, we need to install the speed controller. Let's see, what do I need to do in order to install the speed controller? Well, well, you know, I don't really know, but I'm going to guess that we're going to need to have the, um, you know, that, that steam cleaning done, and chances are we're going to need to have bought the speed controller, so, so we definitely have a requirement, uh, requirement there. Uh, how about task 8, installing the battery racks, which is going to take half a day. Uh, let's see here. Well, again, we, we better have cleaned the, you know, finished our cleaning. Uh, and of course, we're going to need to have constructed those, uh, those racks, and so we have a requirement there as well. So finally, uh, task 9 is wire the electricity, and, and really, we're going to have to complete it, mo complete in most of this first, so I'm going to put it over here. So task 9 takes one day, uh, and before we do that, we're going to have to have we're going to have to have installed the motor, we're going to have to have installed the speed controller, and we're going to have to install have installed the battery racks, and then our last task, task length 1, is wiring the electricity. And this, all together, is a digraph that, in a very simplistic graphical form, captures all the information that we had here, uh, as well as all the ordering requirements. Uh, so this, this digraph captures a lot of information that's going to allow us to then figure out how we can schedule this, um, to have people complete this task.